says, it's Vegas here, and you know what? It's spa time. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Okay, it's Minners and Sharks, hope you're doing well. I'm actually heading over to the elevator right now in need of some pretty desperate R&R, so I'm going to actually head downstairs to the old spa before we get into gameplay going at Aria, and uh, yeah, let's just go from there. Hang tight. Alright, we're heading down now. The uh, Vidara Spa is actually on the second floor. Uh, it's right below the club and the lounge area, or the pool club area. So, looking forward to this. And guys, this is the actual spa over here. So this consists of, they have the fitness center over here, so there's the gym. Um, it's actually not too bad a gym, by the looks of things. They have free headphones and things like that. They also have this lovely little juice bar over here, so you can make your own smoothies. Uh, the day pass is $40 for hotel guests only. Uh, but then you can uh, go upstairs to the actual, uh, actual lounge. But let's go ahead and walk through the old uh, fitness center first. Uh, lots of cardio machines in here, ellipticals and such, and of course, got the uh, fruit water, that's a necessity. Definitely got to stay hydrated when you're in here. Whoops. All right. Yeah, and lots of treadmills and ellipticals and things like that. I think they're supposed to be like uh, lockers on this side. Oh, medicine balls. Cool. But yeah, actually pretty dope little fitness center, cute for the hotel. So it looks pretty comfortable. Probably use this uh, next time when we're in Aria. Next time. Uh, they also have uh, bathrooms back this way. And then elevator up to the second floor. Very helpful if you're handicapped. And of course you have the uh, lovely anti-aging and uh, comfort products over here. 40% uh, off merchandise. Neat. Okay. And then they also have access to the club lounge over here, so I'll have to take a look at the club lounge later. Um, I might go ahead and see if I can sneak a picture of that too, but that's just kind of like a hangout spot. They have televisions and all that good type of stuff over there. There's a happy hour from... Uh, Chris, so when, when did you say the happy hour was? The happy hour is from 2 to 4, thank you. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Alright, well enough of this. Let me go ahead and get upstairs, and then I'll tell you what the experience was like afterwards. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, so Vidara doesn't actually allow cameras inside the spa area largely because it's clothing optional. It's divided down the male and female lines, so inside it's actually clothing optional. And I'm rather certain that the other fellows there didn't want me filming while they were hanging out. That said, the spa area is pretty nice. There's tea, lounge chairs, and television. They also encourage you to hide your phone inside a locker. I took advantage of this, and it's honestly very freeing. The hot tub is cozy, and the wet and dry saunas are actually pretty solid. They even have a great shower and cleanup area for you to get back to feeling fresh on the way out, complete with hair gel, toothpaste, toothbrush, and the like. And you can spend the entire day in the spa if you want to. I think the spa should be included in your resort fee though, given that the resort fee is $51 a night after tax. But the spa day pass is $40, and it doesn't include any services. So it's nice for an afternoon, but I think next time, unless I'm getting a haircut or a massage, I'll probably pass on the spa pass. But that's all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed this one and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Next time, let's get back to eating some good food. Until then, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing off, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spending, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva.